Welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at uh, some further constructions. Uh, today we're looking at perpendicular lines. The two cases where the point is off the line and on the line. So uh, let's first up uh, draw a line. Okay. Um, okay. Let's draw any line and put a point, say, A, which is now, you can see here, off the line. And let's label that line, say, line L. I need to construct a right-angled line through A, okay, well, in other words, perpendicular to L. So how are we going to do it? Well, first up, we all get our compass. Now, we need to open it up at a, a radius. Uh, now, what radius? Well, I just want to show you. The radius has to be greater than the distance A is off the line. Uh, so that's, a, you can see here, that's, uh, well, I could actually move it in, but I can't have it like, for instance, that radius. I need to have it further than that distance. So let's actually just make it there, for instance. And I need to draw an arc which crosses L. Okay, here we go. And I would label these new points uh, B and C. I would then move my compass. Uh, my compass is upside down at the moment. Uh, but we need to actually draw some arcs. Um, let's just flip it there. So we need to draw some arcs down here, okay, uh, in this area down here. Now, I could change my radius, but it looks like uh, these arcs will cross with this radius. So let's just, okay, here we go. Okay, but I'm keeping my radius the same, you notice in this case. I'll move my compass now to, uh, from point B now to point C. And then I need to draw uh, another arc where these arcs cross down here. You can see here, down there. Now, that new point, uh, let's label that point uh, D. Now. If I draw uh, AD, a line through A and D, it should be at now right angles. So let's just check. Um, okay. 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 All right. So you can see it's, well, uh, let's have a quick look. Um, okay. So it's pretty much spot on, you can see there. And we normally would label that with the little right angle in the corner here. This is indicating that. That line now is at right angles to the other line. Okay. All right, so let's actually now move on to the second case. Okay, well, we're now going to construct a perpendicular line uh, to another line where the point is actually on the line. So let's actually draw a line and put the point on it. Okay, so let's actually draw a line and let's put the point A on that line, we'll label it L. We now need to construct a really right, well, a, a right angle, if you like, or 90 degrees at A. Now, we can just go through the process of constructing, you know, um, 90 degrees, uh, but let's actually just do this a slightly different way. Okay, so I need uh, a radius, any radius, uh, compass at point uh, A, you can see here, and uh, we're going to draw an arc. Okay, now I'm going to draw uh, an arc. You can do this above or below. I'm actually going to do it above this time, okay, like that. Uh, right around, okay, and I'm going to label this point, uh, okay, B and C. Okay, I'll just move my ruler down a little bit. I'm going to now construct a point uh, which is equal distance from B and C, so um, I can, uh, well, I'll just say I'll put my compass, say, at B. I'm going to increase my radius now uh, slightly uh, to say, well, I'm not too sure what the distance is, but I'm just going to increase it, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm actually going to put a little arc down underneath here. I mean, I could put it above as well. Um, so then I uh, put my compass over here at C, and then um, I'm going to draw a little arc down here. Okay, um, so I'll just, just draw a little arc down here. And that point, okay, D, this new point here, you can see, is actually equidistance from B and C. So I did change my radius there. Now I'm going to draw the line through A and D. Uh, okay, let's just. Let's just, just check. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's just see how we are. Yeah, I'll keep, okay, um, yeah, you can see it's practically spot on as well. Okay. Well, we go with the, oops, uh, create a very big <laughs> protractor or a very small protractor. Uh, let's actually label this with a uh, right angle indicator. So you can see line L and M now are at right angles. And the point A uh, was on the line. Okay. 
Thank you for watching. Bye for now.